Setting up and preparing for a jewelry shoot, and in this case a Rolex Homage watch shoot, requires a bit of planning and some very precise tools to achieve the perfect result. From accurate and color balanced lights to a high performance camera system with speciality features that support these needs. Planning of the lighting scheme for this shoot is the first step in the preparation. We wanted to use a simple but yet effective setup and decided to use only two Profoto lights but on separate generator packs to be able to individually adjust and control the power from these lights. By setting the correct channels and groups on the generators, we are able to control the output of the lights in one tenth of a stop directly from the XF camera interface without having to go to the generators themselves. This is especially convenient if you are working alone in the studio or if your lights are otherwise inaccessible. To be able to control the exact output of the lights and to verify if the flash can cope with the output and shutter speed, we use the building flash analysis to ensure we are using the lights efficiently and can eliminate any ambient light and exposure. The flash analysis tool measures the flash duration and indicates the timing of the shutter within the flash duration. The tool is especially helpful in understanding how my XF camera and Profoto lights work together by adding transparency to their synchronization and power. Another very useful tool within the XF camera system is the RAW histogram. Although we are shooting this with strobes and not available light, the RAW histogram and RAW clipping meter can indicate where we would potentially have a critical area in the image and where we should be paying extra attention to a lighting setup. This is simply to save time already in the setting up phase of the shoot because we can of course adjust this very precisely within Capture One as we start shooting tethered. For a watch shoot like this, even the smallest changes in both the position of the lights and camera will make a world of a difference and therefore shooting tethered to the computer is crucial. The live view feed into Capture One lets you accurately adjust the lights with instant feedback on the screen. It would be very difficult to do this evaluation off the display on the back of the camera. We also use Live View to find the correct focus points needed for the focus stacking sequence we need to do later. In this case we choose to use a circular polarizer filter to remove the flare and reflections in the level strike. Again, Live View helps us find the exact position of the filter before capture. This shoot will be comprised of three individual captures two for the watch face and one for the crown, so locking down the camera is crucial to the success of the assembly of the images in the final editing stage. But before initiating the first capture sequence, we activate the vibration delay in the XF. We have set this to 5 seconds. The camera will automatically trigger the exposure as soon as the micro vibrations in the camera have settled within those 5 seconds and secure a steady exposure. As we are very close to the subject, which is essential for a tight composition and to utilize the full potential of the 150 megapixel sensor, it is not possible to obtain full depth of field with a single exposure, and therefore we need to perform a focus stacking sequence where the camera will automatically change the focus in very small increments until we have captured a range of images from near to far focus. Luckily, the XF camera system has the most advanced and also the easiest user interface to set this up. Unlike other camera systems, the XF lets you easily set first the closest focus point and then the farthest. We do this using Live View and can very accurately set the focus using the rear wheel on the XF camera. Once these two focus points are set, the XF automatically calculates the steps needed to obtain a secure number of exposures in order to safely assemble these afterwards. However, we choose to change this number manually to 30 based on experience with similar objects. This will still be sufficient to calculate accurate focus stacking renderings. The camera now automatically captures the 30 images, all with an individual point of focus. The processing here is made easy with the round trip feature of Capture One into Helicon Focus. As we have set the adjustments for all the images in this shoot identically, we can easily export them out to be processed in Helicon Focus. Right clicking on an image and choosing Select by Same Sequence will identify all the images belonging to the same focus stacking sequence. Then we choose Edit with Stack in Helicon Focus, which will start the processing of the selected images and open these up in Helicon Focus. The focus stacking rendering process is then initiated in Helicon Focus using the appropriate rendering method, and finally individual focus points can be retouched into the final output image 
from the individual stacks. In this case, we do this three times as we initially shoot three different images, a total of 90 images captured to obtain these final stacked images. Finally, these three images are easily layered on top of each other in Photoshop as we made sure to properly lock down the camera and we have not touched or operated the camera since the first capture. Hence, the images are all in accurate alignment. Using the XF IQ4 150 with all its specialized features for jewelry and still life photography is an invaluable asset in a high-end production environment. These tools let you concentrate on the creative process more than the techniques and workarounds otherwise required to complete these types of shoots.